Are you new around here? Cool! Well, what's your name? Huh. Is that foreign? Never mind. Anyway, can I help you with something? Oh, the chain rule for derivatives? Yikes, that sounds difficult. Oh, let's go ask my friend! He'll know! Sleep, you know, you little fuzzy, long-tailed, inconsiderate. Sorry, but I really need your help. Uh, by the way, this is my friend, Groundhog. Nice to meet you. Now, what's so important? Well, you see, my friend here wants to learn the chain rule for derivatives, and I don't remember it very well. That's an easy one. You see, when you have normal equations like this one, you just take the derivative like usual, yeah? But when you have something like this, where the function has parentheses and an exponent, you have to use the chain rule. Why is that? Because if you didn't, it would be wrong. You see, if the exponent weren't there, the function would look like this. And that's a different function than the one you try to derive without the chain rule. And since it's too much trouble to try and multiply the exponent no, out... No, not. <sighs> what if you have this one, nuts for brains? Not so easy, yeah? Anyway... To use the chain rule, you bring down the exponent value and put it there as a coefficient on the function. Then you reduce the exponent value by 1. Then you take the derivative of the inside of the function, in the parentheses, and put it on the end of the function and multiply. Does it need the exponent too? Good question. The answer is no. It's just there. I think I get it. Do you, friend? Ah, oh, that's good. Uh, but what if you have something like this, where the function is a square root? Don't you remember, pre-cal, a square root function is just a nicer way of writing an exponent of one half. It's just the chain rule as always. Oh, okay. Oh, what if your function is a trig function? Oh, that? You just... Uh... Er... Mm, well, darn it all if I can't remember. Sorry, lad. You're just gonna have to ask someone else. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you for your help, and have a nice nap. Ooh. Good luck. Hey, sheep. What? Oh, hey there, little youngin. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine, thank you. This is my friend, Sheep. Hey there, kids. You having a good day so far? So, my friend and I need to know about the chain rule for trig functions. Can you help me? Why, I'll do my best. Well, now, for trigonometric functions, you see, they're a little funky. The functions themselves have their own special derivatives, which I bet you already learned. But when you have an exponent in there, did you know that's just a fancy way of writing the function without parentheses? So to rewrite the problem, it actually looks like this. Now it's just the chain rule. You learned the chain rule, right? Yeah, Groundhog taught it to us. Groundhog did? I better check your memory. That critter's always half asleep. So how would you solve this problem? You would bring down the exponent, Decrease the original exponent by 1, then multiply the whole function by the derivative of the inside of the parentheses. Well, I'll be. You got it. That overgrown chipmunk actually did something right for a change. You say something? Ah, no, no, darling. Good job on that math problem there. Was that all? Yep. I'll let you get back to your grass then. Much obliged. You be good now, huh? I had a lot of fun learning today. Thanks for coming along with me. See you soon. Look, wizards are dirty. <laughs> Evil spell residue. Fiery smoke stains. Black orc blood. Nothing can get the stains out. Until I use Tide. Tide uses ultra crystals to lift the deepest of wizard stains. Ultra crystals. Life shouldn't be complicated. Good enough for Gandalf. 
good enough for you.